All right, guys, I'm back. Now we're going to talk about New England Covered Bridge. The bridge has many stories over the years. People have seen a young woman take her life on the bridge by hanging in the 1800s. People say when they drive on the bridge, uh, apparently there's a... Uh, there's been claw marks on the side of the cars and hearing a woman scream and people say it's a good place to go to her. But if that's true, um, sorry, I don't want to get my car clawed, have markings all over my car. Forget that. And hearing a woman scream, yeah, that's just asking for nightmares. But if anybody's done it, hey, hit me up. Um, uh, now we're doing the built, built more estate. This guy, George Vanderbilt, the second he owned the mansion, he, he, uh, this mansion had 250 rooms and one of a kind, uh, and now it's a tourist attraction. Many, uh, many guests have seen things slamming doors, caught on videotapes. Even the employees, uh, when the employees drain the pool, uh, they drain the pool every other day. <clears throat> um, but they said that they deny a children dying in the pool, but guests have have heard water splashing and uh and other stuff, but when they go to the pool area, there'll be nobody there, because they said they hear the pool splashing and uh, hearing uh, laughing from the pool, uh, the pool's drain, but like I said, employees denied everything, so, and, uh, and people said that they've seen the owner, George Vanderbilt, in the library reading a book. So, that'd be something really cool to look at, too. Now, this next story. I know a lot of y'all have heard of it. It's in different stories, po other podcasts, um, and all that. And it's apparently, a uh, I looked it up, it's a real museum and stuff. It's the Fort East Martello Museum in Key West. I know y'all know the story. This museum is home of the one of the most haunted dolls named Robert the Doll. It was inspired to create a movie, Annabelle. But it started when a young boy received a doll as a gift. But every time the doll did something bad, the young boy's, uh, every time the the doll did something bad, the boy said it was the doll, but the parents didn't believe him. So, now the doll is in a museum in a sailor suit, and today, uh, uh, if you walk by, sometimes you'll hear a small giggle, and some people have said that if you take a picture without his, like, without like take a picture of him, he, he, the possessed doll considers that as disrespectful and could, and will put a curse on you of endless pain and suffering. If anybody, if anybody's seen, been there, let me know. Cause, um, uh, I might try to take a trip down there and see, see it for myself. But guys, all the other, that was all my six stories since I do a lot of catching up. I will try to be back next weekend with more. But until now, good night and see y'all later.